Tell me, does this background footage look familiar to you? If it doesn't, let me reframe it with a statement. I have never had the absolute god roll on any weapon in the seven years that I've been playing Destiny. Generally, I'm okay with this because I've become accustomed to just how hard it is mathematically to get the absolute number one roll on something with how RNG works. But what if it didn't have to be this way? In today's video, I plan to revive the topic of RNG for everyone who plays Destiny and share with you a probability calculator that I've built. It basically tells you what the odds are of getting exactly what you want on a weapon, and even if you're okay with multiple perks within one column, let's say, it'll take that into account. But before I jump right into that, I wanted to actually just share a tweet that I thought summed this situation up almost perfectly. As you can see, this person is going for two weapons from the Iron Banner loot pool, which only comes around like once a month, and in this case, it's the Multimock SMG and the Reese Walker shotgun. Of course, some of the responses down here have some satire, but the sad truth is that 11,000 tokens could honestly not be enough for him to get exactly what he's looking for. Another victim right here, and I could go on all day showing examples like this. It's not just Iron Banner, but pretty much any weapon in the game that you're searching for a specific role is extremely difficult to actually get. Now I admit, random rolls on weapons are what makes Destiny feel special, and feel confident saying that most of the community would agree we don't ever want to see a static roll environment again like the one that we had when Destiny 2 launched. Getting a weapon to drop back then felt pretty flat and, well, really just unexciting because you knew what you were going to get, but I do think there's a balance to be had between that and some of these reactions we used to get in D1. Look what I got! Oh my gosh! You didn't actually... Bungie has actually shown that they're aware of this in my opinion with their efforts as of late. Umbral Engram focusing was a genius idea. I don't think the execution on having a brand new system for focusing every single season was ideal, and I really didn't love that they used these systems as a means to kind of like force us to play activities that we really didn't enjoy. But another step in the right direction is the fact that we could even focus different seasonal sections as well now in this most recent era, and I think it's a good sign of how things might be in the Witch Queen. Having said this, hopefully they can keep at it from this angle and continue giving more control to the player in an attempt to reduce the wall of RNG that is currently taller than like the Birch Khalifa. I want to get to the point here, so let me just run through two examples of how to use my calculator and then show you how you can actually have your own personal copy of it. Alright, I know there's a lot on the screen right now, but I'm going to run you through exactly how to do it, and all you really care about is the top left hand corner, this is the actual calculator, the rest is just an example in case you forget how this thing works. If we look at the multi-mock right now, this is what can drop on it. Column 1, you have a choice between 4 different scopes. Column 2, you have 7 different perk options that can land. Column 3 and 4 both have 6 options, and then of course you've got the masterwork with 4 different options. What I just ran through, counting all of the perk options that you have in each column, is this middle row. So in column one, I said there was four that you could possibly get, right, because of the four scopes. Column two, there was seven. Then the column three and four, there were six apiece. And then the masterwork has four. We're not going to worry about these error messages right now. Those are just there for when you're on your own and you forget or you do something wrong. It'll tell you what you've done. The next thing we're going to focus on is this row called perk slots. Like if we look at column three and four, we don't get an option at all. It's just one and done. But if we look at the first two columns, you actually do get two options to drop. And that significantly helps our probability of getting what we want. So in the perk slots row, I just have to fill out how many that Bungie gives us. So for column one, they give us two options because there's two different scopes. Column two, they also give us two options. Column three and four, we only get one option. And right now we only get one masterwork option, right? Like when it drops, we can't change it, there's just the one slot. Now let's pretend you had a specific absolute god roll that you wanted and you were only okay with one perk in every single column. That's what this row called acceptable perks is all about. With ones across the board, the probability of me getting the multi-mock that I want is one in a thousand and eight. So this is just to demonstrate the magnitude of how bad this really is. Now the cool thing that I built into this is that if you like more than one perk in a column, you can actually put that in and it'll help you out. Like let's just say for example, I only want one specific scope, I really want accurized rounds, but I'm actually okay with uh, let's say five out of six perks here in column three, and then I only want iron reach and a range masterwork, okay? Just hypothetically, I would go to perk column three here, this one, I would just change it to five, and now my probability is one in 202-ish. 
That's still insanely rough when you're only getting one multi-mock every couple hundred tokens that you submit. Now, for those wondering where I'm getting a nice screen like this, it's from a website called light.gg, but I've actually included a website from a good friend of mine. His name is Dre. He made a website called D2 Gunsmith. We're going to click on that and I can show you exactly how to do this. Let's go look at the bottom dollar. It shows you all of the perk options on the right hand side. And even for those weapons that have changed their perk selections, it grays them out so you can see what used to be and what's current. The only thing with this is that it's not going to show you how many perks fall within each tree. But I've included a screenshot from Dim. It's the same as the Multimog. Two options in column one and two, and then three, four, and five are all mandatory one slot options. Either way, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then seven, and then 12 and 12. Let's go back. So our perk options, we have nine options in column one. I said seven and then 12 and 12. And then same thing, there's four different masterworks that can roll on that one. We're gonna change this one to a one just so that I can show if I wanted the absolute God roll for the bottom dollar, that's my probability, one in 9,000. And that thing barely even drops in Gambit. I've made this sheet public and actually created a link in the description where if you click on it, it'll automatically ask you to copy it to your Google Drive. And then that way you can just have your own sheet. It's not being worked on by other people at the same time or anything like that. And you can just have at her and show your friends how good your RNG is. Now at my work, I'm often a proponent of always giving and taking feedback, but that complaining or whining without providing an idea or a solution isn't really that useful to anyone in most cases. Following that statement, this should be the part where I give my own idea or perfectly planned out solution so as to not sound like a hypocrite, right? But I'll be taking the easy way out today because someone already has. Instead of reinventing the wheel, I actually want to take this time to highlight another content creator who I think has some pretty unique solutions to so many aspects of our game. His name is Kujay. We actually used to help people go flawless in Destiny 1 all the time together and now he runs a channel proposing solutions to almost every facet of the game. Giving well thought out solutions is not an easy thing to do and I felt like his proposals to this RNG issue were deserving of your time. To highlight one small piece of his Iron Banner video, I'll go to this image. It's the same multi-mock that we've been talking about and notice how he put two perk slots in the third and fourth column. That would reduce the RNG from that 1 in 1008 all the way down to 1 in 252. Now look at the idea he talked about being able to re-roll the masterwork. If you could just pick your masterwork on your weapon for example, that RNG would get further reduced down to 1 in 82. Now the thought of needing 82 multi-mocks to drop to get the exact god roll you want seems like a lot still, but I think that's a pretty fair playing field. I've included a couple of links to his videos down below, so be sure to check him out. And I know it can sound cliche to encourage commenting on a video, but this one in particular, I'm very intrigued by what everyone thinks. Don't hesitate to let us all know down below what you think the issues are, or if you have any ideas on ways that they could solve them, feel free to join the Discord. We've got nearly 4,000 members so that you can come in and brag about your RNG. And other than that, I wanted to keep this video short. So happy Halloween, folks. And if you subscribe, I'll see you in my next one.